From the section of quadratic graphs, we know the graph of x plus a squared is the graph of x squared moved along the x-axis by a. If a is positive, it moves left. If a is negative, it moves right. Here's the graph of y equals x squared. It moves left by 3 units, and becomes y equals x plus 3 squared. If it moves right by 3 units, it becomes y equals x minus 3 squared. This kind of transformation is called translation. If f of x is x squared, x plus a squared is f of x plus a. Therefore, f of x plus a is a horizontal translation of minus a. Or, a translation by vector minus a, zero. f of x plus a is x squared plus a. From the section of quadratic graphs, we know its graph is the graph of x squared moved along the y-axis by a. If a is positive, it moves up. If a is negative, it moves down. This is y equals x squared moved up by 5 units. It becomes y equals x squared plus 5. If it moves down by 5 units, it becomes y equals x squared minus 5. Therefore, f of x plus a is a vertical translation of a, or, a translation by vector 0, a. So in general, f of x plus p plus q, is a translation by vector minus p, q, from f of x. There's no change in shape. Sketch the graph of f of x equals 2x plus 3 over x plus 1. We rewrite the expression as, 2 times x plus 1 plus 1, over x plus 1. This is 2 plus 1 over x plus 1. Let g of x equal 1 over x. Then, f of x is 2 plus g of x plus 1. So it's a translation of 1 over x by vector minus 1, 2. This is the graph of 1 over x. We apply a translation of minus 1, 2, on this graph and get the graph of f of x. The asymptotes of 1 over x are the two axes. Now, it becomes x equals minus 1, and y equals 2, after the translation. This is the graph of f of x. Minus f of x is a reflection in the x-axis, because every point, x, y, in f of x, becomes x, minus y, in minus f of x. The blue curve is minus f of x. f of minus x is a reflection in the y-axis, because every point, x, y, in f of x, becomes minus x, y, in f of minus x. The orange curve is f of minus x. This is the graph of f of x. A f of x is a stretch with factor a in the y direction, because every point, x, y, in f of x, becomes, x, a y, in a f of x g of x is 3 times f of x. h of x is 1 third times f of x. These are their graphs. We can see that g is f stretched with factor 3 in the y direction. And h is f stretched with factor 1 third in the y direction, or compressed with factor 3 in the y direction. f of ax is a stretch with factor 1 over a in the x direction, because every point, x, y, in f of x, becomes, x over a, y, in f of a x. m of x is f of 2x. n of x is f of half x. These are their graphs. We can see that m is f stretched with factor half in the x direction, or compressed with factor 2 in the x direction. n is f stretched with factor 2 in the x direction. The diagram shows a sketch of the curve f of x which passes through minus 4 8, 2 3, 4 5. Sketch the graphs of minus 2 f of x and f of minus 2 x. In each case, mark the new position of the three points. In minus 2 f of x, the minus sign reflects the graph in the x-axis. The 2 stretches the graph with factor 2 in the y direction. This is reflected in the x-axis and this is stretched with factor 2 in the y direction. For the same x value, the y value is multiplied by minus 2. 
So minus 4 8 becomes minus 4 minus 16. 2 3 becomes 2 minus 6. 4 5 becomes 4 minus 10. In f of minus 2 x, the minus sign reflects the graph in the y axis. The 2 stretches the graph with factor half in the x direction. This is reflected in the y axis. And this is stretched with factor half in the x direction. For the same y value, the x value is divided by minus 2. So minus 4 8 becomes 2 8. 2 3 becomes minus 1 3. 4 5 becomes minus 2 5. In this class, we learned three transformations of the graph of f of x. Translation. f of x plus p plus q is a translation by vector minus p, q. Reflection. Minus f of x is a reflection in the x-axis. f of minus x is a reflection in the y-axis. Stretch. f of ax is a stretch with factor 1 over a in the x-direction. af of x is a stretch with factor a in the y-direction.